In, what's the universality of uh, young people? They have a phone. They are hooked to the internet. They watch the YouTube all the time. Yes. Right? Yes. This is a group that we should understand. Yes. So when we started Nobu, then we mm. said, what is the universality of what is called a local issue? Mm. The local issue now is not the cow, making the cow go and drink. Yes. Cannot use the example. No more. We're they... talking about how to wean yourself off from, you know, the, the phone. Humanizing the bot. Mm. Okay, because humor mm. is one element mm. of humanizing. Okay. Mm. Um, when we talk about humanizing the bot's conversation, uh, we are looking at you know localizing sentence structures using colloquials right. and uh, local stories. Uh. So how would you suggest to do this? This is uh, a very tall order, really, mm. because if you you, you you talked about the 80 million Cantonese, yeah, and uh, uh, <coughs> compare that with the hundreds of millions of Chi uh, Indians, mm -hmm. based, uh, how can we find a common base yeah to 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 localize experience okay human experience is one you know dukkha samode nirodha magga okay that we can be universal but if we are going to localize it's going to be i think very different yeah uh, because what would appeal or what or, or what would uh, uh, what do you call it uh, re response in Swahili, might be totally different for somebody in Hong Kong. Yeah. How can we find common elements? Uh, in the past, it wasn't a problem because Jataka talked about animals, talked about, you know, they, they were universal. But we, when we talk about today's problems, which are very much localized, yeah, how do we, how do we universalize the human experience when we break it down to small language groups okay can we stay on the, i think can i think if we stick to the dhamma as taught by the buddha and um, as propagated in the three great traditions mahayana theravada and uh, vajrayana if we keep those traditions and then work within those traditions those human experiences i think it can work we actually had a discussion with some psychologists, you mm. know, and they said uh, the human experience, um, yes, we have local stories, mm. right? Malaysian stories, we have our politics, yes. say, versus the UK situation, you know, yeah. very different, yeah. right? I'm, I'm not an English man, right? Mm. Mm. He goes to the pub every day, mm. I don't drink, mm. correct? Mm. He eats fish and chips, I, I never eat so much meat, <laughs> I just eat, mm. I'm a vegetarian yeah. example, mm. right? So how, how to reconcile, you know, his experience and my experience, yeah. very different. So the the, collo the colloquial and the, the, and the things that he experienced in the pub, totally different from what we experienced yeah, here. The discourse that very I would different. use. Yeah, how, yeah. right? Not, yeah. I can't talk vegetarian with, with him, Kuan yeah. Yin or whatever. Right. He will not, you look at him blank and say, he continue drinking his beer, right. correct? So how do we adapt, you know? So do we need a beer guy, beer going guy to... to to, to teach Dharma, you know, in that sense. So that's what I mean, you know. Rather than talking <coughs> about beer, if we talked about intoxicants yeah. as a general, that, that become, makes it universal. So uh, Nobu has to learn to universalize human experience because the wider we go, the more common it gets. But the narrower we become, yeah. So if you are talking about the, 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 the Western guy and his culture of drinking as against your Buddhist culture of not drinking, how do we universalize the experience? So that, that's actually a challenge, actually, you know. Mm. Um, when we say localization, also uh, using a lo local example, you know. Uh, you mentioned just now, you can bring a, a, a horse, horse yeah. to, the, to the water, but you can't make it drink. Exactly. The Chinese, uses a cow. Yeah, right, <laughs> right, 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 right. You know, yes. they, they don't use horse, they use cow. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but anywhere in the world, they would understand, oh, okay, okay, okay. In, in, in my, my... Uh, in Sinhalese, uh, how, how do you, you say you have 
You have a similar... No, no, we, we, we stick to the horse. Horse. <laughs> <laughs> we stick to the thing which... Okay. Mm. So, so that's, that's what we mean, you know. A simple tweak here and there, mm. right? Um, rich cultures, like the... We also have a great strength in that our universal spread of knowledge and experience. We have become more and more global village. Mm. Mm. So, more and more these experiences... Yeah, when we talk about the horses and drinking, uh, I think it'll cut across more cultures today than maybe uh, 200 years ago. Another, another thing that we find that uh, Nobu could be very suitable for this generation is that everybody has a handful. Ah, uh, yes. Whether Swahili, yes. <laughs> or English speaking or Mongolian, right. you know, they will probably see an Android phone or an iPhone. They will know what's an app. Yes. You get what I mean? They will Talk, know. Stick to your generation. Yeah? Uh, My generation will yeah. know a thing. So we are talking about universality of technology. Uh, yes. that, that cut across all, all uh, yes. culture, you know. Yes. Right? They and know, more and more is becoming that way. Correct. They will they know the meaning of app, example, uh, you know, right? Phone, mobile, you know, yeah. Wi-Fi, you know, things like yeah, that, yeah, internet. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. So I think and and all this new usage of technology, it brings a their own sets of problems. Yeah. Uh, uh, addiction to the, you know, to the yeah. phone. Right? Attention span. Attention span. All these are issues, right? right? And I think because of this universality, universality, universality of a certain uh, application, uh, like technology, that's where I think the Nobu will, will, you know, will be able... Will help. Yeah. Will help. Yeah. So when we talk about localization, I think perhaps uh, uh, it is for this generation. Yeah. What do you think? Yes. And also, the fact that the Buddha's uh, teaching, all the Buddha's teaching is universal, <coughs> didn't only cut across geographically, it cut across spatially, mm. right? Uh, in, in, in terms of time. So, the universality of the Buddha's teaching, that itself will, will, will hold will hold. We, we don't need to worry whether people will understand the Buddha's teaching because he only work, worked on the human mm. experience. Mm -hmm. So whether you're talking about horses or whether you're talking about aeroplanes, it would be the, 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 the sort of the understanding of, of pain yeah, yeah. will be there. So I think it's one of the issues that I feel that I'm not a young man anymore, you know. I used to learn Buddhism when I was 20, 24 years old. Oh, yeah? I'm nearly 60 now. <laughs> you mean you only started Buddhism? 24 years old. 24 years old. Yeah, yeah. I started in university. When yeah. I first went to my Buddhist class. Yeah. That's the first time I ever learned Buddhism, you know. They have, we have some very good seniors. Uh. Mm. One of them was Wong Ting Song. Oh, Ting Song. <laughs> he was my your... senior, yeah. Oh, he was okay. my senior. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, we learn Buddhism from there. Then after that, I've, I've been learning. And then one thing I noticed, uh, we tend to say, oh, the Buddhist way of outreach should be this, this manner. Mm. You get what I mean? Mm. We don't, we look at from our perspective. Mm. Because we know, we learn and we mm. reach out, you know, print books la, or do website or whatever you call it, you know. But we seldom look at the, the target group. The target group. Yeah. We, try, we seldom try to understand the target group. Yes. You know? And then suddenly we say, hey, why the young people don't come to the common class? I mean, the, the, the temple anymore. Mm. I give talk nowadays, almost 85% old people. Yeah. I recently went to Tam, uh, Teluk Intan, 100% old people. Yes. All older than me. Uh, yes, they invited me to come and say, too old. <laughs> no, they're older yes, than me. Yes, okay. yes, yes, yes. I say something is very wrong. So mm. I think, I think mm. we, we miss out uh, understanding the target group, right? So I use an example just now. In, what's the universality of uh, young people? They have a phone. They are hooked to the internet. They watch the YouTube all the time. Yes. Right? Yes. This is a group that we should understand. Yes. So when we started Nobu, then we mm. said, what is the universality of what is called a local issue? Mm. The local issue now is not the cow, making the cow go and drink. Yes. Cannot use the example. No more. We're they talking about how to wean yourself off from, you know, the, the phone, phone. For, instead of four hours a day to say two hours a day, right. for example, you see? And the interference, the false... Uh, yeah. yeah. 
we, we can use the of course the example of the cow or the yeah. horse you know yeah if the horse don't want to drink you can force it to drink yeah if the guy don't want to win off four hours to two hours how do you make that person do that yeah yeah you see yeah. so that is a challenge yeah um <clears throat> in the the again the buddha the buddha's main concern with most people was that they have this way of looking at reality the buddha's <laughs> first task was to change that way of looking at reality to a new way of lo looking at it sigalo mm, yeah mm. he was worshiping yeah, the directions yeah. mm. but the buddha said keep that but there is a new way of looking at mm. it so to transform the viewpoint mm. so we need to transform they think the inessential is essential mm -hmm. what we need to tell them is that this is a useful tool but it is not the end mm. there is a higher how our challenge i'd like to read to you mm. somebody had the, uh, what do you call it identified mm. four problems with youth